Hey everyone, so we did a few things since last time. My money, oh, I won something, nice. But my money is pretty low, 25 grand. But I got a few new things. Well, I got my green armor. I bought this offhand for less than a chop sell. I could use it until I sell it, pretty good. I got rid of my bracelet, I still have my hammy though. I traded that topaz axe, bracelet, and 60 grand for a gold blade. And it was actually a gold blade of fire, so I played around a little bit with auto mage, but it had an end lag whenever I tried to kill an enemy and run away when I was still autoing it. I didn't really like that, and it's something I learned new, which is great. So I sold it for 190 grand to somebody, which is good profit. So we just used it for a little bit to level up and got rid of it. Very nice tactic. I also got a crap ton of elixirs. It's what I invested all my money into, basically. Then I sold some, got some more, and did that a few times until I wound up here. Now this is a lot of money. About like a half a million there. Good stuff. But even better, check the mailbox a second. Alright, so we won that hat. We won these herrings. But best of all, we bought a Shadow Bane Spear for 275. Same one that I sold on Belor for 2 million. It'll probably be worth like 6 on Lug. I think I could flip it. It's a really good and pretty rare weapon. So we're going to look a little bit in the auction house and see what we could do. We don't have much money to buy anything, but we could still do something. Yeah, and that name is very fitting. It's only five gold, I think, to buy it. But if they're really trying to rip somebody off like that, why would they make it obvious? Beats me. I don't think there's going to be anything good in here, but we always check. Now I checked up to 35, so we'll just check until that point. Elixir's cheap, I don't like it, but at least they're 100 stacks, so I can undercut them by selling less instead of dropping my price. And I love doing that. Cheap chests, not good. Stolen stuff is really falling in value. So I gotta level up and start flipping higher up stuff. Cause I've been selling horns for two grand and I've been farming a lot of them. Easy money too. Nothing really jumping out at me yet. I also had to buy summoning stones in order to finish my hat. I only paid one grand each and I thought that was fair since I was selling the other stuff for a lot more. Maybe I'll do the same thing with the grimoires. Depends how everything goes. And if I can find them for cheap or not. That's always a plus. Alright, now let's look up a few things. Let's see what mount tokens are selling for, because I'm going to try and list five nice things today. So, it's about 70 grand, give or take. Let's see if we can sell any restos. Alright, there's a crap ton of restos in here. Also, I could probably use the multi-alt selling tactic, and I actually might, but not during this video. Maybe later on. And heroic elixirs. There's not that many of them here. So, that would be a great thing for us to list. 
So what will we sell a shadow bean spear for? Well, we could try and go for two million. I don't know if anyone here is going to pay that, but it's a great weapon. And maybe we could change some minds. The only problem is we can only list it for 12 hours because we're poor right now. But maybe we can solve that later on by selling some stuff here. So we'll go 625 to 650. We can do... Because I think that's going to sell fast so I don't need to list it for long, but... Elixirs take a little bit longer. So we can list those for a full 48. And we'll do two things of health and one attack. It's a good variety. But yeah, we're living the high life now, kinda. Sorta. We're making money, that's the important part. And we have a lot of potential gold. Alright, that looks all nice. So let's try to... farm our little grimoires we need for the BP, so it could be all green. And also... I took this one bounty. Now keep in mind, I'm like 74, 73, something like that. And they gave me a bounty to kill level 88. They're two stars, but smugglers are really strong now. They have a ton of health. I don't remember them being powerful. Weird thing. So we'll just take this gate to go right back to the Stone Gouge Roads and easy farming. This is a trick I used to use back in the day. But I guess it doesn't work anymore. Okay. Plan B. We'll run there. I I really wonder when they changed that. Because I remember in the old day I would be able to do that. And it was actually pretty nice. Alright, so I'll fast forward going there. And I guess we'll try and fight our way in. But one thing, when you're leveling the Stonefell, always kill the unicorns. They seem to have a high chance of dropping the horns for the pants. And those go for pretty good money here. I don't know about other worlds, but it's still worth doing. And I wonder how this offhand is going to help us. Alright, we'll try and... We'll just run through. Let me show you a little trick I found out. So you just run past all these guys, right? And there's a little spot in these rocks that they'll leave you alone at. It's a nice little marker. So once you get to there, they stop following you. So you're free to do whatever you want. And oh my god, there's a frost root fell, brother. This guy's are really strong and I don't know why. They use Cosmic Shield, which is like a super OP energy shield. Not something I want to mess with. Alright, come on, work, work. <laughs> so that's why having a mount's good. But a tiny bit of damage you need to take them out in BS situations like that. I really underestimated it. So I guess we'll kill this branch twister over here. Hopefully it'll give us what we need. And he throws a lot of debuffs that don't hurt mages, so it's a nice enemy to fight. 854. Alright, can I stop him? Yep. Kill it. Alright, good. But we're stuck. 
21 seconds, I guess we'll try and kill the Frostroot guy. He just uses vines and shield, but he's still OP. Alright, use the thing. There's another Frostroot guy, but at least he's not a Fell Brother. Alright, as long as we can live, as long as we can live, that's all I care about. But he's doing a lot of damage to me. Please end soon. Alright, kill him. Please. God, no. No, no. Did we live? Did we live? Please. I don't want to die today. We might have been fast enough. Nope, we died. And my thing is still standing. Alright. We'll use an idol. They're not worth that much in this world. We can afford it. I just hate losing the mount. Alright, we'll leave that guy alone. We don't really want to kill imps because they don't drop anything of importance. I don't know if these warrior guys can drop the grimoires I need. I wish I knew, because I could be saving a lot of time if I farm the other guys. But, I have no idea. So I'm not going to risk it. Plus, I think the druids do less damage in the melees. Personally. Especially Fell Brothers, they can't do anything against ranged people. Not that guy, I mean, the ones that just cast vines and stand. Because they're broken and they don't try to chase you or anything. But these guys for some reason do. Must have just been error in the system. Watch, I'll show you. If we can get by them. Oh crap. He's got that glitch where he doesn't get hurt right away. That really messes up mages. It usually happens when you make an enemy run around the wall or something, and I guess it was that little piece there that made him do it. But just delays damage for whatever reason. And it never got fixed after all these years, because I remember having problems with it in 2013, trying to level up Fury. With the Morty Caves and the Gold Piles and stuff. Alright, we'll try and wait till it's about there. Wonder how lucky I am today. 18? Not looking good for me. I think we'll make it, though. Missing Firebolt. I really do need a Master Scrimore. I don't appreciate it as much as I should. Because the extra health is nice. And I hate how the Nature's Touch thing heals them a ton. Why well, I hate Yellow Boggins too. Alright, so we can show you the thing with the Fell Brother now. Be very careful. Watch, he'll just stand there with vines and wait all this time. And he only casts Shield of Bark and Vines on. And the vines don't even do much damage. And since I'm fire, I can hurt him with full strength too. And even if you have a bunch of Fell Brothers attacking you, They'll only cast vines once the one ended, so they're pretty useless. 
One of my favorite enemies to fight. I can't really think of anything easier off the top of my head. Except maybe those uh, Battle Blades and Ribbon Sword guys. Because they have like no health. I guess we'll go down here too. Well, we may not get the grimoires we need, we'll get the XP we need. If I can just get the red armor instead, I'd be happier. Alright, please don't fight all these people at once. I'm trying to avoid it. Alright, we're good. Firebolt this guy in the back of the head. Cancel out of that run. And we'll just run to where we need to go while attacking him. And somebody's killing stuff. Alright, yeah. Perfect. Take him out. <laughs> Alright, so there's a unicorn over there. Hopefully we can still get two grand for the corrupted horns. Oh, so those guys can drop it. Ooh, this is going to be way easier now. Christmas comes early for Fury. Because I hate having to dance around all those imps and druids and stuff. Now I can just massacre these warriors. Alright, be very careful. Why are they here? They're 81. All the world would be perfect for them. It seems like every time I give people suggestions on where to level up, they take it as an offense, so I'm not going to say it today. Or maybe... I, I guess they're trying to get the BP. So, I guess I can't be too mad at him. Is that a high star? Gladesteed? Meadow Mail? Good enough. These three stars tend to drop horns the most often. Alright, dead. Good XP. So, on the Struid guy. Leveling's just getting easier and easier for us. I wonder how 150 will be. Furbogs are pretty powerful. Actually, I wonder how the other world would be. Burning trees and whatnot. Alright, I guess we can kill imps while we wait. But... This is our little ideal pattern we got going on here. And these druids can drop them for sure. So, maximize our chances. Did that firebolt arc? Oh, I missed that. So we should make decent gold while we're farming here too. Hopefully have enough to start flipping stuff again. Because there's always good deals in the auction house and I don't want to miss out on that. Money is great to have. And a lair lord, holy hell. Alright, let's, let's not do this right now. He's probably going to be too strong. He's just throwing lightning every two seconds. Can't deal with that. And it's a really good thing I'm wearing that Stone Veil Resist Magic Ring. And it's very lucky I even got it. It was the one I wanted because I knew that there was a hole in my resistance. Alright, let's go for this Leaf Guard. 
and we'll just dance around them. And actually, I was thinking about something. I'll show you in a second. All right, now's a good time, I guess. So I've been saving my skill points for 90, or if I get Firestorm. But I was thinking about how useful is Firestorm, really? Because a Firebolt is over two and a half times as fast. And Firestorm doesn't even do that much more damage. I wonder why it's so overpriced on most worlds. I mean, it's not that much rarer than Ice Blast. Actually, I'd say it's easier to farm for specifically because it's from certain bosses. And those bosses have a pretty high chance of dropping it. Just my little rant. But we'll wind up buying it anyway. If I can find it for maybe like a hundred grand, when I have a hundred grand. If I used Ice Shards over Firestorm, I'd actually do more damage, but then I'd have to have Lore too. And I don't really want to build like that, because it's ineffective for what we're doing. Because we have enough money to buy stuff, and we don't have enough points to fit all that in reasonably. Why is that not blanked out? Oh. Now it is, okay. And apparently the red armor is level 100. They really don't want to give it to me yet. But with how powerful our skill is now, I'm pretty sure it does 110 damage. Let me double check on that. Yeah, 110 damage at 10 out of 0. So we can get up to, I think... I don't know, hold on. If it's 10, and each green piece is 2, we're technically at 9, so how's that at 10? Alright, so I guess at 16, it'll be pretty effective. The skill points are pretty confusing for that kind of stuff. Game works in mysterious ways. Alright, no, no. I just remembered that he was still here. Not looking to die today. Nothing behind us we're gonna run into. So we'll just give it, like, five seconds before we start fighting. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going. Because I know he's going to do a ton of DPS on us. Good lord, come on. Why is he casting so fast? Why is he programmed to be a monster? All right, keep our shield ready. I feel like if he breaks our shield, he's just going to demolish us. Look at this. It's a little crazy, don't you think? Now we're just going to use the shield. I am very scared right now for my life. Alright, kill him, kill him. No. I don't want to know how much damage that does. <sighs> Uh, okay, hard part's over. Shows us how effective our build is. And even these guys, they seem worse than the fire guys. Is it just all the mages are like this? I don't remember the frost guys throwing stuff every half second at us. He's throwing skills faster than you can all that and wait a minute. A Blood Grove Spell Singer. Alright, we need we need the power up here. We have to kill that. And we have an armor potion. 
We need to save some space here. Watch our backs to see if anything spawns on top of us. We don't want that. I've never seen this enemy before. Ever. But we're going to do our best to solo it. Hopefully we can kill it. It looks like it's holding a wand. Alright, let's go. Alright, we deflected and all that. Deflect, deflect. At least it's not trying to kill us. But it seems like it's just going to throw thunderclap at us the whole time. And I hope it's not that powerful. And crap all. Oh, crap, crap. Come on. I don't want to lose. It's just going to be a magic fight. Alright, please don't be too strong. I just want rare stuff to sell for money. Alright. We might have a chance here. Shield. Let's walk a little bit over to the left. In case anything walks up on us. I found a Bloodgrove Demonologist and a Taxpayer up here too. So I guess a lot of nice things can spawn. 852, just what we needed. Oh no, do not heal on me. No. 48. <laughs> oh god, he sucks. Just what we needed. Alright, come on, kill him, kill him. Alright, what do we get? What do we get? XP, that's good. Ooh, so that's where these wands come from. And it has Lore of Fire on it, too. Ooh, this would be the perfect wand for us to use. But would it be worth using or selling? I think I'm going to sell it. Although it would be perfect for us. The money is better because we could just buy a, a Dark or more or something at 110. But that's a very nice find. Very happy. Hopefully we can get like 20, 30 grand from it. Alright. Not so close, not so close. But that's the thing with rare enemies. You don't know if they're going to be OP or weak. Because I fought firebrands and they just slashed through my health. And same with wise and some gold mobs but that guy was pretty easy he was just really tanky weird stuff i want to find out who drops the new stuff i know we found that enemy but i have no idea who dropped it because i was just killing stuff left and right and boom it was there if anything i want to find the phantom ring and the other rings like that. Because being able to cast another firebolt or another ice shard or even lightning strike would be pretty fun as a caster. You know, it would probably add a decent amount of damage too. And I wonder if the bound firebolt has the same uh, cooldown time as a real firebolt. Because every six seconds, think about that. Be adding a lot of DPS. Just my opinion on it. But it's nice to see the rare things that each area has. Some of the stuff that I've never seen before because, well, I just used XPs and crap like that and just flew through everything. I didn't get a chance to look around. Going all 2011 grindy style really helps open my eyes to all this. Being a low level really is fun. And honestly, I like being poor more than I like being rich. Because it's fun just messing around, see what works, see what doesn't. It's just an adventure. And that's why I like the series. Because you never know what's going to happen.
Just a man trying to make money. And we get free hunter remains too. So you know what? We did a little bit of uh, grinding. Let's run back to the castle and see if we can get anyone to buy our new wand. I think there's somebody out there that would probably want it. Selling Master Gro Grove Wand. And if we can't sell it for more than, I don't know, 10 grand, I'm probably going to use it. And we could check up on our stuff too. No bids about my uh, things I bid on. Obsidian Hammer I bid 10 grand on. Because it looks great. It is great. Even if people whine about it having uses. I'm sure I could find somebody to buy it for 50 grand. And we have somebody to trade, okay. I wonder if they're gonna think it's a new item or not. It's been around for years. So let's just wait and see what they say about it. They're probably just curious and they're probably gonna cancel the trade. But, you don't know. That's why you trade everyone, see what they'll say. I guess they're just looking at the stats. Oh, how much? I don't know, let's say 20 grand. And they're gonna cancel trade and say no, but it's a great low level weapon, it really is. Even if it doesn't seem like it, focus is good. Alright, guess they don't want it. So we can... Drop some crap to get rid of it. I'm sure a bunch of warriors, rogues, and rangers will get pissed off at me right now, but I don't need that. I don't need invisibility. So we can go to this place. Sell off the non-expensive stuff, and then sell the rest at a good place. Alright, that's 16, that can go, that can go, are we good now? Yep. And go to our usual luck shop. I think there's a hunter remain around here. See if it's up or not. Nope, not a problem. So let's see how much we get here. All right, we made money on that. I wonder how much it sells the shop for. Seven fifty. Some stuff has decent shop sell. I don't know why that person keeps selling those for dirt cheap. Oh yeah. I got this when I killed one of the four star guys, I think. Or, no, 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 no. I got this when I killed that Blood Grove Demonologist I was talking about earlier. And it's only worth 2500 but just like the Diamond Boar Tusk, we could probably get somebody to buy for more. And that's what we're going to attempt when we have more slots. So, for now, I think we're doing pretty good. And... Just getting better and better and better as the time goes on. Hopefully we can be a millionaire soon. See if that spear sells. So, until next time, let's see where we can go.